All right, so another example of uh, L'Hopital's rule. All right, so once again, the mainly what L'Hopital's rule says is we're taking the limit of f of x over g of x as x goes to a, and we take the a and we plug it in for x, and we get 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over negative infinity. Uh, we can, that is equal to the limit as x goes to a of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. Okay, provided the limit, this limit here, the limit on the right exists, or is plus or minus infinity. And this rule also applies if we take this x, this x goes to a, and we can replace it with x goes to plus or minus infinity, or x goes to a from the right or the left. Alright, so let's look at example 6. Okay, So we have the limit of sine x raised to the x as x goes to 0 from the right. Alright, so if we plug the 0 in, we get what? We get 0 raised to the 0. Okay, And that is an indeterminate form. We can't have that. Alright, so this is going to be similar to the one we're going to work it we're going to work it similar to the one we did in example 5. So if you want to see another example similar to this one, you can watch example 5 also. It's a little bit different. It's instead of 0 to the 0, it's 1 to the infinity. All right. So we're going to we're going to work it just just like we did example 5. All right. So I'm going to let y equal sine x raised to the x. Okay. And so now we do the natural log. So the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of sine x raised to the x. And then we have that property that says we can take the exponent and put it in front of the log. And so that is equal to x times natural log of sine x. Okay. Alright, so what happens if we take the limit of this thing? Okay, because remember we're wanting to use L'Hopital's rule. So we want 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over negative infinity. We want something like this. Okay. Well, if we take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, okay, well, what do I have? Well, this is going to be 0, okay, and then, well, the sine of 0 is 0, okay, so I can't take the log of 0. And do you remember what the graph of, nat of, log of a logarithm looks like? It looks something like this. Okay. So if I'm coming in to 0 from the right, you can see that this natural log is going to negative infinity. So I would have 0 times negative infinity, which I can't have that. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite this as the natural log of sine x over 1 over x. So let me show you how that works out. So if we just take this, if we take the natural log of sine x over 1 over x, well that's equal to the natural log of sine x times, see since it's this divided by this, then it's this times the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 1 over x is just x. And you can see I get x times natural log sine x. So this is the same thing as this. Okay. All right. Now, let's look at what would happen if we took the limit. I know we're not taking the limit right now, but what we're doing is we're just wanting to get this 
in a form so that we can use L'Hopital's rule because we're fixing to come down here and take the limit of this. But we just but we're just going to get it in that form up here. Okay. So as x goes to zero from the right, well we just talked about it here. That's going to go to negative infinity. And then as x goes to zero from the right here, that's staying at one and the denominator is getting really, really small. And so this would go to positive infinity. So we have negative infinity over positive infinity. So that tells us that we can use L'Hopital's rule. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take the limit as x goes to zero from the right of the natural log of y. Okay, And that is equal to the limit as x goes to zero from the right. Well, what's the natural log of y? Well, up here you can see we showed that the natural log of y is equal to this. And so that's going to be the natural log of sine x over 1 over x. And we just talked about it a while ago. If I take the limit as x goes to 0 from the right, I end up with negative infinity over infinity. Okay. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So that's the limit as x goes to 0 from the right. And the derivative of the numerator, the derivative of natural log sine x, Remember, that's going to be sine x, and then the derivative of sine x is cosine x over, and then the derivative of 1 over x, and you should know how to do this. You can, you can take the, you can rewrite 1 over x as, it, as x to the negative 1 and use the power rule, and you'll end up with negative 1 over x squared. And I'm not going to go through all that work. You can, you should be able to do that. Okay. So this is going to give us the limit. Now let me come down here. I might run out of room. So that's going to give us the limit <coughs> as x goes to 0 from the right. Now let's look at this. Cosine over sine is cotangent. And then that's negative 1 over x squared. Okay. I'm just simplifying this a little bit. And so that's going to give me the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of cotangent cotangent x times since it's cotangent divided by this is cotangent, is cotangent times the reciprocal of this which is negative x squared and so this is equal to the limit as x goes to zero from the right, remember I'm needing to uh, I'm needing to get this in one of those forms of L'Hopital's rule. I want zero over zero, infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over negative infinity. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this as negative x squared over tangent x, because remember. Remember from trig that cotangent x is equal to 1 over tangent x. Okay? And so that's what's gonna that's where the tangent x comes from. This, this is the same thing as 1 over tangent x times negative x squared. Okay. Alright. And you know, in, in these problems, that that's the whole key to it is getting it, get, just get it in one of those forms. All right, so if I plug the zero in, I get zero, and then tangent of zero is zero, so I got zero over zero. So I can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So that's going to be the limit as x goes to zero from the right. Derivative of the numerator is negative two x over the derivative of the denominator is um, is secant squared x. Okay. All right. So now let's plug the zero in and see what happens. So I get negative two times zero over secant squared zero. Okay. Well, what's secant squared of zero? 
Well, remember, uh, secant x is equal to 1 over cosine x. So if I take, well, and, and I know we have secant squared, so we can say secant squared is equal to cosine, is equal to 1 over cosine squared. So 1 over cosine squared of 0 is equal to 1 over 1, which is 1. Okay? So I get negative 2 times 0 is 0 over and then secant squared. Okay? Well, that's 1. Secant squared of 0 is 1. And so that gives us 0. All right. Now, remember what we're wanting to take the limit of. We're wanting to find the limit of this. This is our problem. Okay. All right. So let's write that down here. So that's so we need the limit as x goes to zero from the right of sine x raised to the x. Okay. Well, what's that equal to? Well, that's equal to the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of y. So where did I get the y? Well, remember up here I said let y equal sine x to the x. So all I did down here is I replaced sine x to the x with y. So I replaced sine x to the x with y. All right. Well, we don't know anything about the limit of y. What do we know the limit of? Well, remember here, we've said that the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of the natural log of y is equal to 0. So we do know the limit of natural log of y as x goes to 0 from the right. Well, you see this y here? Remember, there's a property that says b raised to the log with base b of x is equal to x. Okay, So if this and this are the same, your answer is what you're taking the log of. Okay. All right. So we can rewrite y. We can rewrite y as e raised to the natural log of y. Because remember that the natural log of something is the same thing as log with base e. Okay? We just write natural log instead of log base e. So this base here is understood to be an e. So since this e and this e are the same, our answer would be what? y. And that's what that is. So this y and e to the natural log of y are the same thing. Alright, so how does that help us? Well, The limit of natural log of y as x goes to 0 from the right is what? It's 0. It's 0. Okay. Well, the limit as x goes to 0 from the right of natural log y, well, there's our e, and the limit of this, which we've shown here, is 0. And so our solution would be 1. Okay. All right, so I hope that helped. Uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. I have some more videos on L'Hopital's Rule if you need, need to watch those. And like I said, I have another example similar to this one, but instead of 0 to the 0, it's uh, 1 to the infinity. That's example 5. All right. Uh, if you like them, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.